Hi everyone, we're going to do another related race problem, this time involving airplanes uh, instead of baseball. Now, I um, just want to go over uh, again in my last video, I didn't explain too much, but to reiterate, um, well, in related race, what we want to do is find a an equation that uh, will model uh, what we're doing. In the last video that I did, there was uh, it was it involved baseball, and so the system that we did involved the right triangle. So we used the Pythagorean theorem. Now, if you're going to do something like uh, you have a like a, like a cone that's being filled with water or something, and you want to see how quickly the volume. Uh, or, or the uh, the water, how quickly it's draining uh, from the cone, then you would use the uh, the equation for the volume of a cone, and you know you differentiate that, and you see how quickly the volume is changing uh, with respect to time. So you know you just have to you know see what you're working with, and you choose an equation based on that, and you differentiate the equation with respect to time, because you want to find how quickly uh, that certain quantity is changing with respect to time okay so now we'll do this one let's see it says uh, an air traffic controller spots two planes at the same altitude converging on a point as they fly at right angles to each other one plane is 150 miles from the point moving at 450 miles per hour the other plane is 200 miles from the point moving at uh, 600 miles per hour a. At what rate is the distance between the planes decreasing? Uh, B. How much time does the air traffic controller have to get one of the planes on a different flight path? Alright, so now, we have the two planes. This one's at 200 miles from this point. Should have marked that. Okay, this one's 150 miles uh, from the point. Now, let me see. So, bu -bu -bu -bu. Okay, so this one is moving at 450 miles per hour. And this one is moving at 600 miles per hour. Alright, now. Okay, so obviously uh, they're going to collide at a certain point. Now, we want to see how quickly this uh, distance between them is changing. So now, as you can see, like in my last video, uh, there was there is a uh, right triangle, so Pythagorean theorem. Now we're gonna have a squared plus b squared is equal to. Now I'm gonna use c squared because that's the traditional Pythagorean theorem. But we want to find s. S c it doesn't matter. This is what the book chose to uh, to write, and this is what I choose to write. Now you could choose to write p you know for the uh, the missing uh, variable it doesn't matter alright so now we're going to differentiate this uh, this equation with respect to time now of course uh, that involves implicit differentiation so we're gonna have 2 a times well uh, uh, implicit differentiation in the way that we're uh, differentiating with respect to uh, time and obviously a is not time so uh, basically chain rule implicitly so 2a times the derivative of a uh, with respect to time dt da dt okay and same thing here 2b db dt equal to 2c dc dt alright so now alright so we have we differentiated this with respect to time using the chain rule the derivative of the outside stuff with the inside stuff still in there times the derivative with respect to time of the inside stuff which is that alright so now now we can uh, see what we have we can plug in what we have now let's see. So these are these problems are pretty straightforward. I'll do a more complicated one in my next video. 
Uh, this one is pretty easy. So this gonna be two A. Uh, ba -ba -ba. This will be A. This will be B. Should have labeled that before. <laughs> okay, two A. All right, the side A is equal to uh, two hundred. Okay, D A D T is changing by six hundred miles per hour. Okay. Now plus two B and B is one hundred fifty because that plane is one hundred fifty miles from the point times D B D T is changing at four hundred fifty miles per hour is equal to two and C. Alright now we have to find C. Okay. Now we have A and B, so we just use Pythagorean theorem to find C. So let's see. I assume that everyone knows how to use the uh, Pythagorean theorem, so I won't write out the steps, so I'll just do it in the calculator quickly. Okay, so that's going to be uh, 250. So at this point, this is like t is equal to zero, like that's where the problem starts. They're 250 miles away from each other. Okay, so C, 250, D, C, D, T. Yeah, I know, I should have uh, moved all this over. <laughs> Instead of writing uh, at that angle. Alright, now, so we just uh, now simply do these calculations, okay? 2 times 200 times 600. Uh, that's oh and uh, this is negative of course because this distance is uh, decreasing okay so that's 24 240,000 okay plus 2 times 150 times 450 Okay, plus a one, three, five, zero, zero, and zero. All right, is equal to two times two fifty, five hundred plus fifteen k. No, wait. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. I thought I made a mistake on the calculator with this part. I thought I put extra zero. I did not. Okay, so. Well, minus 500 DC DT. Okay, now uh, add these up here. And let's see. Blah, blah. Don't want to waste time, so do a quick in the calculator. Now, 375. Okay, 375,000 is equal to minus 500 DC. DT. Okay, now you divide both sides by minus 500, so you can get DC DT alone. Okay. All right now. Okay, so that's minus 750 miles per hour. Okay, so now this distance is changing at 750 miles per hour, so that's quite a lot. Alright, now, now we want to see, okay, so we have this answer here. Now what we want to see is, uh, B, how much time does the air traffic controller have to get one of the planes on a different path? Okay, so I'm just going to erase this stuff here. And I'll leave that result because we will need it. All right, now let's see. Okay, so um, there's another equation that we need to uh, to compute this, the time needed. Now it's uh, an equation that you might recognize from physics, and that's going to be 
D is equal to V T. Okay, so distance is equal to velocity times time. We solve both sides for T. I mean, no, I'm sorry, we solve for T, we divide both sides by V. So T is equal to D V. Okay, now, we want to see how quickly this plane is going to, in, in what time this plane will get here, and in what time that plane will get here. Okay, now, we're going to do it this way. So, uh, the distance that this plane is from this point is 200 miles. And now, uh, the speed is 600 miles per hour. Okay, now we need to find it for the second plane. Now it's 150 miles away. And it's going 450 miles per hour. Okay, so we'll compute these really quick. Alright, so 200 divided by 600. Okay, that gives us one third. And now 150 divided by 450, that gives us one third. Okay, so they're both going to take a third of an hour to get there, to get to that point. Okay, so let's see. Alright, so. So now we want to see, so, let me see, and do that really quick, okay, so, now this is one third of an hour, okay, what's one third of an hour? Uh, one third of an hour will be, I did on the calculator really fast, uh, which should have been able to do in my head, but, uh, I guess I'm just too accustomed to using the calculator. 20 minutes. Okay, and this one, of course, is 20 minutes. Okay, so, um, you know, they have 20 minutes to get on a different flight path, but of course you don't want to wait until the whole 20 minutes. You, know, you want to do like 19 minutes or less, because even 19 minutes you might hit because the planes are so big. So, as quickly as possible, but generally they will have 20 minutes to get on a different flight path. So, uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next time.